Welcome to Painting Brush. Hi, I am Katie and I am Kitty. In this video, let us see some of the amazing psychological benefits of painting. Hobbies are an important part of maintaining your mental health and well-being. There's something that instantly spark joy and give you something to be passionate about, as well as giving you something to focus on instead of your daily worries and stresses. We've noticed that many people come home from our painting holidays feeling recharged and refreshed, and it got us wondering about the emotional and psychological benefits of painting. One interesting study by a psychologist and neuroscientist, Kelly Lambert, suggests that painting may actually alleviate depression and anxiety by stimulating parts of the brain affected by depression. Other psychologists liken the experience of complete concentration and absorption that you get while painting to mindfulness practices such as meditation and yoga. Painting develops your creativity. This may sound obvious enough. But what might not be obvious is that painting stimulates both the right and left side of the brain. In painting, we use the left side of the brain to tackle rational, logical challenges, how to structure the painting. For example, while the left side of the brain is used for more creative challenges, helping the painter visualize their work before they even set up their easel. Painting supports your emotional well-being. They say a picture says a thousand words, and painting can be a hugely cathartic experience, allowing you to access feelings buried deep within your subconscious. Painting can also help us deal with those feelings by giving them a physical shape, removing the anguish involved when keeping feelings hidden. This is why psychologists often prescribe art therapy for patients who have suffered psychological trauma. It helps to release emotions in a safe non-threatening environment. By learning to better express yourself, through the medium of art, painting can be an act of self-care that supports your emotional well-being. Means your problem-solving skills. Although we try our best, sometimes our paintings really turn out as originally planned. Changes in the light, the limitations of your palette, and just plain old lack of experience and technique mean that what you start out trying to achieve sometimes doesn't come to life the way that you expect it. Improves memory and concentration. Your brain is essentially working out whenever you paint. Which means that painting boosts memory function and sharpens the mind. In particular, painters exercise the parts of their brain responsible for memory and concentration. Painting can develop communication skills. Painting helps you to tap into your subconscious and allows you to communicate your feelings to yourself and the outside world through the pieces you create. Painting is fun, and it's extremely important to pursue an interest that also benefits your health. So, grab a paintbrush and begin to create a make-believe world of your own. More positive emotions additionally, Creating these paintings and drawings would obviously lessen the negative emotions within an individual. This would be replaced by the positive thoughts and feelings as color and drawings would be exemplified. Of course, as one develops his skills in painting and drawing, these would produce very good results. Hence, this may make an individual feel good about his capabilities. These activities would boost his self-esteem and would inspire him to believe in what he can do. Release of hidden emotions Furthermore, as one pours out his emotions through art, he concentrates on releasing all these hidden emotions. In fact, physical pain may even disappear as one is deeply involved in his paintings and drawings. Research has called this state the alpha. This signifies that part of one's brain is consciously performing activities while the unconscious part is also expressed. Such a state can also be obtained from other activities such as prayer, music, and meditation.
This state would release energy and would revitalize an individual. He would gain strength in this special form of recovery. In effect, the healing process can be faster and more effective. Increase of emotional intelligence given these various health benefits of painting and drawing. It is clear that these activities can cause an increase in an individual's emotional intelligence. In enabling one's emotions to flow through art, one can create a better grasp of his varying feelings. One can experiment on feelings of joy, peace, love, and happiness while performing these tasks. You become more observant of the details to add to the list of health benefits of painting and drawing. These activities would enable one to become more observant of the details of his surroundings. More positive emotions additionally, creating these paintings and drawings would obviously lessen the negative emotions within an individual. This would be replaced by the positive thoughts and feelings as color and drawings would be exemplified. Of course, as one develops his skills in painting and drawing, these would produce very good results. Hence, this may make an individual feel good about his capabilities. These activities would boost his self-esteem and would inspire him to believe in what he can do. Painting is a mood booster. Whether you are creating art or viewing art, the process can boost your mood. One of the reasons why art has the ability to do this because it engages our senses and activates the release of our neurotransmitters. These specific neurotransmitters are pleasure related. For example, dopamine, which drastically improves our mood. Art may also improve our mood because it improves our self-esteem. When we create something that we are proud of, we recognize our self-worth and we feel a sense of purpose. Confidence can definitely be a mood booster. Painting has been a psychological activity. Since the very beginning, scholars and philosophers have seen a direct correlation between art and psychology. This relation dates back to the classical period of ancient Greece, with discussions led by people like Aristotle. It was quickly understood that the two benefit each other. Art and psychoanalysis have always gone hand in hand. Painting is a therapy. Painting is an individual activity even in the workshop, virtual class or painting group outing. Students enter into their own world, a world full of possibilities. The stimulus of the creative mind allows students to positively isolate from their immediate reality, which provides a mental rest that lowers stress and generates relaxation and happy feelings. Painting increases self-esteem working in a non-competitive, relaxed environment. The teacher plays a major role here, will enable the students to come closer to greater personal achievements. This will strengthen their individuality and self-esteem. This is especially significant for people with codependency, traumatic conditions and elderly people who need activities that can strengthen their self-esteem and autonomy. Learning how to paint has all the benefits of good entertainment. We laugh, socialize, learn something new, feel motivated to finish what we start, appreciate nature and feel passion for something good. So, grab a paintbrush and begin to create a make-believe world of your own.